Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making a chicken spaghetti casserole and all the ingredients you're gonna need are cream of mushroom, um, cream of chicken, rotel, an onion, mushroom, chicken, cheese, spaghetti, and chicken broth. First you're gonna need to cut up your onion and then you're gonna need to cook your chicken and cook your mushroom and then cook your spaghetti. So I'll be back when all those are done and then I'll show you the next steps. One thing I forgot to mention is don't season your chicken because everything else is gonna add flavor to it. And if you season it, it's just gonna be too salty. So I recommend skipping that if you want. If you want to season your chicken, go for it, but I'm not. I got my water boiling, I got my onions and mushrooms cooking and everything is coming together yes okay once everything is done cooking you're gonna add uh, your chicken to your mushrooms and your onions and don't forget to shred your chicken um, and then you're gonna add your can of rotel to it you don't have to do this but you can if you want you don't have to use rotel um, and then you're gonna add Cream of chicken. Here, I need a, a fork. Um, just get all of that out. You can use two cans of cream of chicken or you can use uh, one can of each like I'm doing, cream of chicken and mushroom, or you can just add cream of mushroom. It does not matter, it's just personal preference. Some people use different things. I happen to like both. So I'm gonna use. Uh, here's cream of mushroom. And then you're going to mix it all together. So let's take this out. I don't want to scrape my pan really bad. Yeah. And you can add a little bit of broth like I'm about to do to thin it out a little bit. And then you're just gonna let this simmer on medium until it's like nice and combined. Okay, so I'm just gonna add just a little bit, not too much. This will add a nice flavor to it as well. This is like a super easy recipe. My mom used to make this. Not this way. Um, she used to add rotel and chicken and stuff, but I think she just used cream of chicken. Let me, that's much easier. I don't know why I was stirring it like that. Oh, and don't forget to uh, preheat your oven to 350. This looks so good. Wow, I haven't, like, I don't think I've ever made this and I haven't had this since I was a kid. Okay, in a baking dish, add um, a little bit of your mixture on the bottom, just so it doesn't stick. Spread that on the bottom. Then you're gonna add some of your pasta. Okay, add some of your pasta. And 
And then you're gonna add some cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want. I use the sharp cheddar. Sorry there's like a massive shadow. I'm still trying to figure out this apartment, like the lighting and whatnot. Then you're gonna add some more toppings and you're just gonna keep layering it up until you end up with um, toppings and then sprinkle the rest with cheese. So I'll, s and then put it in the oven for um, about 30 minutes and then it should be done. So I'll see you for the eating portion, guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It feels so weird saying that. Um, today I'm having the chicken spaghetti casserole that I made in the beginning. Sorry, it was kind of rushed, but I was feeling a little nauseous because I took my medication before. And so I was like, oh my God, I hope I don't puke. But anyway, I'm feeling better now. I let this sit, I laid down. So we're good. And I also have Coke, but you can't really see it. I miss you guys so much. Um, it felt nice to like move and everything and then get a break. But right the day that I moved, I got so sick to the point that I'm like, oh my God, I don't think I can do this. Thankfully, my mom helped me, but I was a mess. I had an ear infection and I also had like a giant like cut on the top of the roof of my mouth. It was just a whole thing and I was like, I don't feel good, but I feel better now. I've been taking my medication and we're back. I got a lot to tell you guys. Um, it might be a little bit negative because I had a terrible week but, ooh, look at that. We're gonna make a story time out of it. Well, not really a story time, but just like a little rant. Mmm, tastes exactly like my childhood. so good to eat again I haven't been able to eat for like a week so I'm like so excited to be able to like actually eat something and not feel pain first things first I love my new apartment but the area is sketchy <laughs> sketches and there's homeless people everywhere there's bars on the windows and some places near me I'm like but then you like go up the road and it's like bougie so I don't understand But you know, I'm rough and tough, and I'm willing to take someone on. I'll take you down. So, don't try me. There's a guy who went into the gas station um, to get a snack, and there's this guy that went in there, like, uh, after me, and he was like, hey, baby. I was like, no. And he's like, and he walked away. I was like, yeah. That's what I thought. I'm not your baby. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. This tastes so good. <laughs> oh my god, this is bomb. I recommend this. Mmm. I also got my dollar store um, antlers on because the holidays. I know it's October, but still, it's never too early to put on some deer antlers. And I have no makeup on because I didn't feel like it. Oh, hot. First of all, um, I hired movers to move all my stuff. They were from U-Haul, so I didn't expect like the best treatment, but they broke my entertainment center and they broke like two other things. And I'm pretty sure they took my um, plates, some of my plates, because they're gone. So I'm not too happy about that. Like, the dude literally broke my entertainment center, and then he set it down and, like, fell apart. And he's like, sorry, that broke. And I was like, I was sick at the time, so I didn't, like, 
really like give a crap but then like a couple days later i'm like you know what he broke my freaking entertainment center that's not cheap so i mean i wrote a bad review but they can't give me my money back or anything so always hire good movers <laughs> don't do what i did but even good movers can break your stuff just be careful watch the movers too when they're moving stuff just in case they try to put something in their car This is so good. Um, second thing, I took Tucker to uh, boarding so I can move everything. Uh, he gets in the way a lot and he'll be jumping on the mover. So I was like, let me take him to boarding. Let, let me let him have some fun. So I take him there. At first, like, the lady's like, you're not in our system. And I should have known from that, from that point to not take him there. But I'm like, okay, like, can you put me in your system? Like, I signed up. I showed her everything. And she's like, oh, yeah, you did get an email. So she takes him and everything, and I'm like, bye baby, and he starts crying, and I'm like, aww. So I thought everything was okay with that. And then the lady calls me like a couple days later, this fork sucks. And she's like, Tucker is um, crouching down on his back legs, do you know what's wrong with him? And I'm like, no, I've never seen that happen before. And she's like, we'll keep you updated. Um, I was like, okay, that's weird. Didn't think anything about it. This is good. This is a uh, cherry Coke. Mm. Um, anyway, I go to pick him up and I notice he's like so like mopey and I've never seen him like this before ever unless he's sick So I'm like, is he okay? And she's like, yeah, he should be okay Like he's been playing with the other dogs and everything like I think he's okay And then she like tells me that he has like these like on his paw pads It looked like they broke apart like they got burned and he's like, I don't know what this is, but I've been putting some stuff on it and I think he's like okay and I'm like what and so I take him to my car and he's like limping on his back legs and I'm like what is going on what do they do to my dog he seems like very down not excited at all he goes into my car and he lays down and I've never seen him do that before And so I get home and I start looking at his paws more because he goes straight to his bed. Like he lays down. I'm like, this is so weird. And I saw like his, his paw pads were bloody. And I'm like, what the heck did this lady do to my dog? So I couldn't call because on Monday it was a holiday. So I had to wait until Tuesday. So I call Tuesday and the lady's like, oh yeah, like, uh, I'm like, what kind of, Stuff to suck with plant is do they have grass? Do they have concrete? Do they have rocks? And she's like, he plays on a combination of three. We have uh, grass, rocks, and concrete. And mind you, on the day that I do dropped him off, it was hot. So the concrete had to have been hot. And I never walk Tucker on the concrete. I always put him on grass because I know better. Like puppy, like puppy pads, like they burn like super easy because they're sensitive. And so I started adding everything up together. I'm like, this lady put my dog on hot concrete. She let my dog play on hot concrete, as well as I'm sure many others. And his uh, pads burned. I'm like, I'm never bringing my dog back to this boarding place. And so I go and write a bad Yelp review. I'm like, beware guys. Like this uh, boarding place doesn't care. They'll put your dog on hot concrete, hot rocks. Um, my dog was like having diarrhea which i mean that might be normal because he had his food switched up
And so the lady sees my bad Yelp review and she calls me, which you're not supposed to do that. And she's like, hi, I just saw your bad Yelp review. Um, is there anything I can do? And I was like, you can stop, like, you can like shut down your boarding place because you're obviously unethical. Like who puts a dog on hot concrete? Anyone that has common sense knows not to put a dog on hot concrete especially in Texas and she's like well your dog must have sensitive paw pads because all the dogs I've worked with before have never had that happen to them except your dog he must have virgin paws and I said oh hell no I said listen lady I don't know who you're talking to but I know you're not talking to me my dog is my world you mess him you mess with him you mess with me and they'll get these hands like I'm not kidding I said don't ever fucking call me again and don't like delete my number i'm never coming back to your place get rid of it and i hung up on her don't tell me my dog has virgin paws give me a break you've run a boarding place for how many years and you don't know this by now that dogs don't walk on hong concrete like it's common sense this stuff is so good I probably would have added a little bit more cream of mushroom or cream of chicken, but otherwise it's perfecto. But anyway, I had a terrible experience with that, so I'll never go back to that place. Like, the ladies there were rude. And mind you, while I was leaving with my dog, there was another dog that looked exactly like Tucker, and she was up for adoption. Not only did this lady try to push this dog onto me, I'm like, I'm just picking on my dog. Like, I would love to adopt another dog, but I just moved. I can't do it right now. And she's like, oh, okay. So when I'm leaving, the lady's like, get away from me to the other dog. And I was like, oh my God, this lady is psycho. Like, why would you tell that to a poor dog? I don't know. And it's not like the dog was hyper. It was like super mellow, more mellow than uh, Tucker. He was just chilling or she was just chilling. But I'm like, this lady, no. Have some napkins. So there was that, that lady was crazy. Um, I move here and I set up Spectrum. So Spectrum is supposed to come the next day and I'm like, cool, I can film a video, I can work, everything's great. So I moved on the 4th, so I got here the 4th. I was expecting them to come the 5th. Tell me why Spectrum gets here the next day and they're like, yeah, we actually don't service in your area. And I said, the lady at the front desk said you did. And he's like, yeah, I've heard that from like other areas, but they only do AT&T there. I was like, I was still sick at the time. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I set up AT&T and they're like, we can't be there until next week. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to go a week without working, a week without making videos, literally bored out of my mind. I thought it was going crazy. AT&T, like, supposed to set up service on the 13th, I believe. No, it's not the, it's the 13th today. They're supposed to set up service on the 10th. So I was like, okay, so I call AT&T because I set it up myself. And they're like, yeah, service isn't actually until uh, tomorrow. And I was like, oh, my God, another day. But luckily the at t people were so sweet and they, they set it up correctly for me and it's all good to go now. It's just been a week. And then I got an ear infection and that hurt so bad. I couldn't do anything to relieve the pain. It 
it was shit. <laughs> it was shit. I was crying. I didn't feel good. I was like, I want my mommy. Then my mom's like, I'm working, Lexi. And I was like, mommy. It's just like, no, I'm working. I'm just kidding. She didn't do that. But I, I really did want to hang out with her. But I couldn't. I got to put on my big boy britches. I'm 24 years old and I still call my mom. I'm like, mom, help me. I'm like, but I'm still a kid at heart. Mm. People are gonna be like, oh my God, are you sick? Watch, watch out for the comments. They're gonna be like, oh, are you sick? Like you look a little pale. I'm just not wearing makeup <laughs> every time especially at school when I used to be in high school um people used to be like oh my god are you okay like you look sick I'm like I'm just not wearing makeup thanks and the lighting is kind of atrocious mmm I wonder if ranch would be good on this. Is that weird? A lot of people, my last video, they're like, oh, ketchup on macaroni and cheese, that's gross. <laughs> spaghetti is getting a little crunchy like it got crunchy on the sides so I hope everyone in Florida is okay I know that there's a hurricane in Florida right now I turned on my internet after I got it I was like oh my god there's a hurricane in Florida that's crazy I didn't even know anything was going on but I was wondering why it was raining so much in Texas and I think it's because we're getting all the rain from Florida I hope you evacuated like your house is like never that important that you have to stay behind It's raining. Let me get some ranch. Let's try some ranch on this. Let's try a little bit of ranch. Um, my favorite kind of ranch at the moment is the Kraft Ranch. Um, it's just the classic. The buttermilk is okay, but this one is the best. Just letting you guys know, I use that one the most. I like the taste of it. Like Hidden Valley is nasty. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's Lexi approved. Ranch on chicken spaghetti casserole. Oh yeah, and um, what else do I have to update you on? Um, I live in a like kind of sketchy area, but I was like driving around and there's some nice parts over here. You just have to keep driving. I went to Taco Bell. You guys are gonna be blown away. I was like, <gasps> How dare you? Okay. So there's a Taco Bell down the road. I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna get a fiery Doritos Locos Taco Supreme because I couldn't really eat at the time, but that's not a good. I just got one. Tell me why I pull up to the drive-thru and I was like, can I have a fiery Doritos Locos Taco Supreme? And the lady's like, we don't have fiery shells. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Are you kidding me right now? Like, this can't be true. Like, I was literally like, you gotta be kidding me. And she's like, no, I'm not. We only have Cool Ranch and nacho cheese. And I was like, are you ever gonna get the fiery shell? Because 
you're about the only Taco Bell I know that doesn't have it. And she's like, yeah, no, we won't be getting it. I was like, okay, well then you won't be getting my money because that's all I wanted. She's like, sorry. And I'm like, no, it's cool. It's not your fault, but I was shocked. So yeah, there's such thing as some Taco Bells not having the fiery shell, which is crazy to me. You know what they need to get rid of? That double chalupa. It's really not that good. Like they didn't, I don't know, it's kind of basic. I remember the, the old one had jalapenos and some sort of sauce. This one's just kind of plain. But I did pass by uh, Burger King and they have the cheesy tots again, just in case like yours went away, you can go there again and get cheesy tots. I didn't get any, but I just saw the sign. I was like, I saw the sign. It made it open up my eyes. I saw the sign. I'm just kidding. Have you ever seen a new menu item at fast food places and you're like, skirt? <laughs> because I have. There's this Korean fried chicken place near me. I'm definitely gonna try that. So that will probably be my next um, video. And I don't know, uh, let's see how good the lighting is and I'll do it inside. Did anyone even like forget that I was gone? Sometimes I, I'm a like, very forgettable person, so I'm like, oh, people probably didn't even notice that I was gone. I'm definitely, are you guys that type of person too where you feel like you're very forgettable? Because I am. and I was very quiet. I used to eat lunch in the bathroom, like no joke. I was mean girls to the T, except I ate in the big stall instead of like a small one. And I didn't sit on the toilet. I just stood up and had my lunch because I was like very, like I was very much a loner. If you guys want me to tell you my high school experience, I can. It's not the happiest, I know. A lot of you guys are like, oh my God, are you ever fucking happy? I am. But I had a lot of like bad things happen to me when I was younger, which kind of shapes who I am, I think. Um, I'm like, I'm reserved a lot of the time. Like, 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 I don't know why I keep saying like, I'm reserved a lot of the time, but I do come out of my shell. In high school, I was very much reserved. So when the teacher called all the names and like he didn't call me, uh, or any teacher there there had been a lot of instances where teachers didn't call my name You know when they do roll check and I'm like you didn't call my name and they're like, oh, I didn't see you in the back I'm like <laughs> I'm like yep back here. Sorry. I'm so invisible I'm gonna eat one more bite and then Call it quits only because I don't want to eat too much because I'm still a little bit sick, so gotta keep it classy. But in my next video, I'm gonna chow down on some fried chicken, Korean fried chicken. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Um, while I'm gone, while I'm back, thank you for just showing me love. I really appreciate it because I do feel forgotten a lot of the time. And like, that's not on you. That's on me. That's my own insecurity. 
I feel like people don't really notice me. Like, I kind of hide in the shadows most of the time. Not that I want to be on the forefront. Like, no, <laughs> I don't. Um, but it's nice to, like, people say, I miss you. And I'm like, aw, that's so sweet. But I have issues, so. Anyway. I'm back, guys. I am back. And I'm gonna try to film a lot. I'm gonna, you guys want the apartment tour, but behind me is a disaster. Let me get it a little bit situated and then I'll show you my apartment. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you want to. If you don't, I don't give up. I'll still be making videos. <laughs> um, like, comment, comment anything. You can call me a dumb hoe. Like, I don't care, just comment something. You can dislike the video if you want, you can like it. It's all up to you. I'm sweating. I turn my air off and it's like, whew. Hopefully the lighting gets better as I like settle into my apartment and I'm gonna be going out more. Trust me, I will. <laughs> anyway, I got a burp. I just can't. There we go. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, bye, bitch. Who are you?